For all your web hosting needs, check out Bluehost where you can get plans for as low as $3.95 per month. Sign up today and get a free domain plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So one of my viewers asked me a really funny question. And what they asked me was if I could actually run Linux in a virtual machine and then run another version of Linux within a virtual machine within the Linux virtual machine and so uh, I have never tried that before uh, funny enough and so I'm gonna go ahead and try that today so what I'm gonna do is within my virtual machine which is running in Linux I have another version of Linux in here so I'm gonna try to run another version of Linux within this virtual machine wow that's a tongue twister so what I've done is I've actually downloaded puppy Linux I've downloaded the 32-bit Ubuntu Xenal version because whenever I have virtual machine in this virtual machine uh, it's actually only available in 32-bit okay so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out hopefully it won't break and it'll work so uh, let's go ahead and choose Ubuntu 32-bit uh, memory size let's make this 2 gigs and the reason I uh, downloaded Puppy Linux is because it's really small and at the same time it doesn't take up a lot of space I don't I do not have a lot of space on my virtual machine so let's go ahead and Go there. Okay. Let's make this about two gigs. Yes. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the settings. I'm going to rename this. Name this Puppy Linux. Okay. System. Okay. Processor. I don't think I could go beyond one CPU, but that's okay because I'm just running Puppy Linux. Display, 128 megs of memory. Storage, which is the most important part. I've already chosen it right here earlier, but I have not tried to install it yet. Let's just say okay. And now let's go ahead and try it. Hopefully it works. Okay. Let's see if this works. Nope. Unable to boot. Err. All right. Not good. So let me try that again to see if uh, there's anything else. Maybe I could try the different options there. And I know this is possible because there's many machines that run full blown systems within another virtual machine. And so uh, normally whenever things like this occur, you have to go into the BIOS, but in this case, it's inside a virtual machine. So, all right, let's see if I could choose another option. And I'm pretty sure if I spent more time with this, I could probably figure it out, but I thought it'd be a simple thing. All right, then <laughs> unfortunately that doesn't work. Ah, oh, man. All right, so that did not work. And um, another thing that didn't work, and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that now since that didn't work, is the fact that I did try to do another Linux build, okay? Uh, basically, I'm trying to learn how to use my own Linux distro, and what I tried this time was Ubuntu Customization Kit. So I think this one, it predates the Ubuntu Mini ISO, but uh, this is what happened. I'll show you what happened, okay? so. What it does here, this actual tool allows you to customize the version of Ubuntu that you've already downloaded. Very similar to what the Ubuntu Mini does. So right here, we're going to choose our language. Okay, so this episode is actually a double failure because none of it worked. So let's go ahead here. And here, um, you're going to get to choose which desktop environments are available on your custom CD because what you're doing here is you're actually creating your own live CD okay so you could choose multiple if you want so I want to give myself two options GNOME and KDE and then now you choose the distro that you actually already downloaded and it will only work on Ubuntu based distro so I'll just choose Ubuntu 16.04 you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and now you want to customize the CD manually during building yeah 
and now do you want to delete all windows related files so if you're not going to use this on the windows machine let's go ahead and delete those i don't need those and now do you want to generate a hybrid image iso usb yes i want to iso and now it should start creating this under my temp folder let's go ahead and go there now i have to put in my password and let's see so initially everything looks like it's good okay now this uh, Ubuntu customized toolkit it, it's actually been discontinued so it's not supported I think since 2015 so I'm thinking that might be the reason but I didn't really spend a lot of time on it you know because it didn't work and like I said this is no longer supported okay but I just thought I'd give it a shot. I'm trying to learn uh, different options in creating a distro. And so uh, the option that I like so far at the time that I'm making this video, the option that I like the most is with the Ubuntu Mini ISO. Okay, here you could choose to run a console application. That means that you could actually install different programs if you want through the console or continue building. I'm going to go ahead and continue building. And see everything looks fine until it gets to that okay and uh, it has all these errors here and so that's basically where I stop okay now the thing is I think if you just download this GFX boot theme Ubuntu it will work okay but the thing is this is really an old way of doing it and uh, I didn't want to put this other version okay and because it is older and so I think Ubuntu Mini actually replaced this older way of doing it, okay? And so those are my thoughts, and like I said, I didn't really want to put in older stuff, you know, something that's discontinued, and so I'm going to leave it at that, but I just wanted to show you that I did try another way of doing it, and the actual program is Ubuntu Customization Kit. Um, this is available in your software manager, um, so I could show you right here. And unfortunately you know it doesn't work but that's okay because the ubuntu mini option it actually works better but it basically does the same thing okay so if you go here and you type in uck there it is okay but like i said it's been discontinued on source forge and so uh it's hasn't been working since 2015 okay so uh that's it for today uh i had basically two double fails today uh the first one was trying to get a Linux version of Linux to run within another Linux virtual machine that failed and the other one right here the Ubuntu the UCK customizable kit but uh, that's it for today um, if you had any thoughts on either of these tools or if you are able to make these work uh, most the one that I'm most um, interested in is the virtual machine within a virtual machine I'm pretty sure I could figure it out you know uh, because a lot of people do do it this way but uh, if you had any thoughts on how to do that, that'd be pretty cool. And then with this one, the UCK kit, I don't really think anybody's using this anymore. Uh, I think most people would use something like Ubuntu Mini. But hey, if you're using this as well and you had some solutions, put, down, uh, put that down there as well. And so that is it for this particular episode, <laughs> a little fun episode. So if you had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.